Hello, once again, everybody, I'm Jake Lucci, and welcome to my video coaching newsletter. The title of today's video coaching newsletter is Strengthening Relationships During the Recruiting Process. This video is great for parents and prospects that are experiencing some challenges during the recruiting process. And quite frankly, this is something that we see pretty often, that when you have a 15, 16, 17-year-old recruit, a 15, 16, 17-year-old athlete, a lot of times they have challenges communicating their wants, needs, and desires to their parent. On the flip side, parents have issues communicating with their children. And a lot of times this creates not only animosity, but it brings up a lot of challenges during the recruiting process. Our goal at LPG is to help the college recruiting process move seamlessly. We want drama-free college recruiting processes. We want parents that are happy and prospects that are getting to a point where they can get what they want when it comes to going through this college recruiting process. We have some questions today uh, about parents that are experiencing challenges in the recruiting process and also some prospects that are experiencing challenges. What are some ways that we can help um, increase the line of communication so that everyone can get what they want? And especially the prospect, the priority is the prospect. How can we help them get what they want? Money, scholarship to go to a school that they actually want to go to and a school that really is excited about having them to campus. So questions about strengthening the relationship between the parent and the prospect throughout the college recruiting process. So the question from a parent was, how do I talk to my teenager? You have to try a lot of different ways. How do you talk to your teenager is you have to try different ways, whether it's text message, whether it's over social media, whether it's just having a talk at the dinner table. I think every parent's going to parent their child differently, but if there's no communication and if there's no effort on the parent's end, then that is, that's detrimental. Like if the, if the prospect wants to talk, they're going to talk, but they can't be the one responsible for bringing that up in conversation. I feel like that responsibility is actually responsibility is actually more on the adult. So in this case, the parent, I feel like the parent needs to be mature enough and be the parent, sit down with their son or daughter and say, Hey, what do you want out of this? It's not about what the parent wants. I've talked about that plenty of times before. It's about what does the prospect want and how can they get it once this process is said and done. So then from the flip side, from the prospect's perspective, are they waiting for their parents to bring up the process? How, how would I approach my parents about the process? Yeah, a lot of times it's the parents that actually get the college recruiting process started earlier than the, than, than the child. And it's because the parents on the internet doing research. And in their research, they find, oh, wow, there, there are companies such as LPG, for instance, that are going to help with the college recruiting process. And if you find companies like that that you can trust, or if you find someone that you can trust, then you've hit a home run. I mean, you really want to take advantage of that opportunity to work with someone throughout the college recruiting process, rather than putting the responsibility on just the club coach, the child, or the high school coach even, right? These, these coaches have jobs and they have to develop players. And so they're not always focused on how do I get this child to the next level? They're really focused on, especially at the high school level, um, their, their coaches are paid to win, right? They're not only paid to develop, but they're paid to win. And I think that parents sometimes forget this. And so they do their research and they get geeked up and they get excited about the recruiting process, but they fail to communicate that excitement to their child. And so I think the child kind of, the, the, the recruit, the prospect has a tendency to get left behind. And it's because the parent muddies the waters early instead of just keeping the line of communication open and approaching it in a team effort type style. So how would you use social media to facilitate? The better question is, is how would you not use social media to better facilitate the relationship? Parents have to understand that the more eyeballs that are on their kids, the better chance that they're going to have to be seen by college coaches. Therefore, the better chance they're going to have to be offered a scholarship. And so parents need to communicate with their, with their children, like, Hey, I want to help you. But a lot of times parents don't understand social media. And a lot of times the prospects have to sometimes teach them. So again, it goes back to the communication, really. It's like, Parents and prospects need to talk about these things and rather than just assume, and obviously in the four agreements we talk about, don't make assumptions. That's one of the agreements. Prospects, don't assume that your parents know how to use social media. Don't assume that they're going to know how to bring up, hey, this is your college recruiting process. This is your time. You have to be the one to sometimes push that narrative forward. And even if you're, if you, even if you're a freshman or a sophomore, your college recruiting process has started. In seventh and eighth grade, a lot of these kids are getting scouted because they're playing at such a level that college coaches are hearing about them from an early, early age. So you have to get on the same page when it comes to social media because it's just such a powerful marketing tool for getting parents and, and, and kids to actually kind of make their college recruiting process fun. If you're engaging and you're interacting together on social media in the right way, and there's a better chance that college coaches are going to see you. There's a better chance that you're going to earn a scholarship. There's a better chance that your, your parents are going to be happy. The prospect is going to be happy. The high school coach, 
and the club coach are going to be happy because everyone's going to be so excited that that prospect earned a college scholarship. Sound good? Sounds good. All right. Thank you all so much for taking the time to hear that. My, my Texas accent came out. Thank you all so much for watching this video coaching newsletter, strengthening the relationship between the prospect and the parent, or in other words, strengthening relationships during the college recruiting process. I'm Jake Bucci, and we'll talk to you soon.